We all know how dangerous the sun can be if you don't protect yourself. And during this Melanoma Awareness Month, we are talking about the deadliest form of skin cancer this morning with Dr. Jane Grant Kells. She's the head of the dermatology department at the Yukon Health Center. Good to see you, doctor. Hi. Thanks for coming on. Nice to see you. So let's talk about how important it is to have your skin checked and why a majority of people don't do it. Well, it's important to have your skin checked so that we can diagnose skin cancer early. The key to melanoma uh, survival is diagnosing the cancer as early as possible. People don't do it because they don't have a dermatologist or it's very hard to get in to see their dermatologist. But I would encourage people who have had a lot of sun exposure to get in and see their dermatologist. It would have to be a dermatologist. You can't just go to your primary physician and get this done? Well, it, you know, some primary care docs are very knowledgeable about skin, but most are not. And so if possible, it would be best to see a dermatologist. What's the process like? Well, most of us want our patients to be completely undressed, um, and we do a full skin check um, of areas that have been exposed to the skin as well as covered areas. And we're looking for lesions that um, show asymmetry, border irregularity, color variation, and lesions that have been changing or evolved, and that's known as the ABCDE. We've got them up there on the screen. So is this something, I mean, obviously you should have a professional, a dermatologist check you out, but is it something that maybe you and the family could kind of do together and just look at each other's skin? Absolutely. Most, most cancers, skin cancers, are diagnosed by patients, their friends, or family members. So becoming familiar with your own skin and or the skin of your children and your spouse is something that's very important. And checking it the way women do breast exams, people should check their skin periodically. And so you're looking for these moles, uh, and, and, and we've got some pictures. Describe Correct. what we're seeing here. So a, a lesion who has a, that has an irregular border, sort of irregular areas of pseudopods of growth, a lesion that is variegated on the border, um, that's asymmetrical, so that if you tried to divide the lesion in half, the two sides wouldn't match. A variegation in color, so not an even light brown or even dark brown, but variations in brown and black and white and even bluish or red. A lesion that's changing in diameter, growing. And E, the E stands for evolution, things that are mm. evolving, changing. That should be something that should, an alarm should go off in someone's head and they should have that lesion checked. So it sounds like if you have a perfectly round kind of freckle looking thing that isn't moving, that isn't strange, it's just perfectly round, you might be okay. Correct. And people okay. have a lot of those lesions. Sure. Let's talk about Melifine because this is using computer technology to try to detect melanoma. Right. Melifine is new technology that's just been recently FDA approved that uses 10 wavelengths of light and a computer to evaluate 75 parameters in a lesion. And basically it's a tool. If we look at a lesion and we think we might need to biopsy, but we're not sure, and particularly if it's on the face or the, you know, an area which, which is sensitive or tends to scar badly, this Melifine information will help us decide whether to biopsy a lesion or not. So it's just another tool to help us. So describe what that means and what would happen if somebody goes in, they get the screening, it's determined that they've got one of these moles that looks strange, and then would surgery be the next course? Right, so a biopsy would be the next course. And, and a biopsy is, is very easily accomplished in an outpatient setting, but it does hurt and there can be scarring. And so any tool that we have that will, not, will number one, help us pick up a melanoma early, and number two, prevent us from doing unnecessary biopsies is a, is a great tool to have. Let's talk about the screening that you are doing uh, this this event. So in collaboration with the company that produces Melifind, we are offering a day where patients can come in and have a specific lesion that they or their dermatologist are concerned about screened with a Melifind and the report will be faxed to their dermatologist. So we don't want just people pouring in off the streets because we can't handle all those people. Right. But if they, they or their dermatologist have a lesion that they're concerned about but now, I'm not sure it needs a biopsy. We will screen it for them at no charge on May 29th. So the key to take away from all of this is wear sunscreen, I would imagine. I mean, because right. the sun is what's doing this, right? The sun is a major carcinogen. I mean, it's not the only thing. There is genetics and other things at play. But the one thing we can control is our exposure to sunlight. So avoiding the midday sun, wearing protective clothing and sunscreens is the key to preventing skin cancer and staying young looking. Is there just no healthy tan? There is no healthy tan. Okay. Dr. Jane Grant Kells from Yukon. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor. Thank you for inviting us. Well, wonderful insight. We